I want to share a terrible secret with you. And this is quite embarrassing. But it also has a massive upside. An upside which I was able to exploit early on in my carnivore journey. Before we get into it though, I want to share a customer service announcement. Did you know that the YouTube like button is haunted? It's haunted by the ghost of not Dr. Michael Greger. Yes. Um, uh, you know, uh, but they're high in party. But, but what, what? And the only way to prevent his ghost escaping is to smash the like button. Smash the like button and you'll never have to worry about being haunted by the ghost of Dr. Michael Greger. That said, let's get into my terrible secret. There's nothing quite as alarming as when you first realize you're getting old. And everyone's experience is different. But no matter how old I was, I never really felt like I was getting old. I think as you get older, your definition of what old means gets further and further away from you. When you're 5 years old, someone who's 20 is old. When you're 20, someone in their mid-40s is old. When you're 50, someone who's 90 years old. And when I was 44, although I wasn't healthy, I was pretty active and I wasn't thinking about I was old. I was walking everywhere. I had a job where I was always on my feet and always moving. So unless I caught myself on video and saw that belly, I thought I was doing okay. One day, I was on the train coming home from a client. I'd been on my feet all day in a big seminar room. I was feeling tired but also energized because the day's training had been successful. So I get off the train and I'm ready for the short walk home. I'm pulling one of those wheelie bags behind me which has got my laptop and other bits and pieces I use for training in it. I come out of the ticket gate and there are some stairs leading out of the train station. So I bend down and I pick up the wheelie bag. As I'm picking up the bag, I notice this young lady, mid-twenties, staring at me. And I notice this because living in a country as crowded as Japan, you often just kind of blend into the crowd and no one looks at anyone. As we make eye contact, she says something. And it's such an infrequent occurrence that I was kind of confused and I didn't hear her properly. So she says it again, those terrible words. Can I help you down the stairs with your bag? Now, the young lady was being very kind, but this had a massive and instant impact on me. Suddenly, I was old. Within seconds, I'd aged what felt like a hundred years. And it was a horrible feeling. And even though this was the only time I'd experienced this up to this point, no matter how I felt about myself, that moment made me realize other people may perceive me as being old. And it started to happen more regularly. And when I say regularly, it wasn't every day. Toddlers didn't suddenly start getting out of their strollers and offering me a seat. But it did happen often enough that it was noticeable. Even to the point where a man older than me got up and offered me a senior seat on a train. And this is something I used to my advantage when getting started with carnivore. And if you're just getting started or you're still suffering with cravings, this can help you too. I did a lot of things to control cravings when I first decided to give up carbs and alcohol. I changed up my routines so I didn't fall into regular behavior patterns. And I kept reminding myself how much control I would have if I just managed to get through without having any carbs. And I focused on these goals one day at a time. Just get to bed without carbs today and then you can worry about things tomorrow. But something else that helped was reminding myself that I wanted to delay getting old. As much as possible, I want to put off the day where people only half my age are offering to help me down the stairs or offering me the senior seat just because of my perceived age. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Yes. Um, uh, you know, uh, but they're high in party. But, but what, what?